Hey guys, Toby here from Yield Labs. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk a little bit about the mechanics of Anchor Protocol and how it generates its yield, how it can afford to pay its users or customers 20% in APR, in interest, on their stable coins, and how it can continue to do this, will it continue to do this, and what does it look like? So, I mean, a lot of people in DeFi, a lot of lunatics, a lot of people in the Terra space are using this platform and they perhaps don't fully understand how it works. It's pretty simple to understand. It's there in the white paper if you want to learn some more about how all of this works. But for now, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit and perhaps put some graphics up on the screen about how this yield is generated and how it's paid out back to you guys. So let's look at the current data for today when I'm recording this video, which is the 23rd of November, 2021. Obviously this is subject to change and it changes all of the time with deposits being made into Anchor and out of Anchor, collateral being posted, loans being taken, Anchor price variation, all of that good stuff. So to figure out the sustainability of Anchor protocol, we need to look at a few things. Firstly, you need to understand how much they need to pay out. The total deposits currently in Anchor Protocol are 2.42 billion UST, and the interest rate that they are currently paying out as of today is 19.8%. So 19.8% of 2.42 billion UST is 471.4 million UST. This is what Anchor needs to generate to be able to pay its 20% yield. How do they do that? Well, Everybody who uses the Anchor Protocol borrow function has to put up collateral to be able to borrow UST against it. These are often heavily over collateralized and what Anchor will do is use these deposits, so your BETH and your BLUNA to earn yield in DeFi. So using Lido Finance's current rates as an example, let's do a little bit of quick math about what that actually looks like. So currently, Anchor Protocol has 2.76 billion USTs worth of BLUNA deposited as collateral. Lido Finance is currently paying out 6.3% against this, which gives us a grand total of 173.8 million UST. This is the amount of UST that Anchor can earn against the Luna that is deposited as collateral in the platform. Let's take a look at the ETH. Currently, there is 373 million USTs worth of ETH deposited into Anchor. Lido's current interest rate for ETH is 4.9%. So if we do 4.9% of that 373 million, you get 18.3 million. This is the amount of UST that is being earned against the Ethereum deposited as collateral into Anchor. The current amount of UST borrowed against collateral in Anchor is 1.21 billion UST. If you multiply this by the borrow APR, you get a grand total of 283.14 million UST. So we have three figures now. We have the 173.8 million UST being earned against the Luna that is deposited as collateral. We have the 18.3 million UST being earned against the ETH, which is deposited as collateral. And we have the 283.14 million being earned against the borrowed funds. If we add all those together, you get a grand total of 475.24 million UST. So what we need to do with these two numbers is subtract the paid out from the paid in. So what Anchor is paying out versus what they are earning against these collateral positions in DeFi. As we mentioned earlier on in the video, what Anchor is currently paying out is 471.4 million UST. What is currently being earned in revenue by Anchor by these deposits of the BLUNA, the BETH, and the interest on the borrow rate is 475.24 million. If you take 471.4 million UST from 475.24 million UST, you are left with a remainder. This is 3.84 million UST, which Anchor is currently generating above its requirement. So what happens with this additional 3.84 million UST? This goes into the yield reserve. The yield reserve is used to um, counteract any imbalances in the platform or any times where the borrow uh, APR is not enough to cover the difference uh, and, and so on. So basically any shortfalls. And the yield reserve currently stands at about 75 million UST at the time of making this video. 
and it's constantly climbing. A couple of days ago when I started storyboarding this video, it was at 71 million. Today it's at 75 million. It's seeing constant growth. So it is generating revenue that will allow it to continue to pay out this 20% APR. So keeping an eye on this value is worthwhile because it really lets you know how the whole ecosystem is performing. It lets you know how the um, how Anchor itself is continuing to generate yield and how it can continue to be a backbone of the Terra network in the future. Okay, so now what about the Anchor tokens? The, the Anchor token has the ANC ticker. What about those? How do they come into all of this? So Anchor tokens are distributed to offset the borrow APR and create a net APR. You can see that sometimes in Anchor, when you put up collateral and you borrow money, you're actually being paid to borrow money. Now this is where the Anchor token is helping the platform pay out yields to um, the borrowers. And they do this in the form of their governance token. So the Anchor distribution was supposed to be an incentivization program that would bring people and encourage people to use the Anchor platform until the end of 2024, which is when the distribution of the token ends. What fascinates me the most about Anchor Protocol is how it's been able to sort of position itself as a backbone of the um, Terra network. And we are now seeing lots and lots of projects developing off the back of Anchor or developing plugins into Anchor. And some of these are really exciting and are allowing like real world adoption or cross bridge interconnectivity. For example, we've got Orion Protocol. They are using Anchor as the backbone to earn the yields on their platform. You can deposit ERC20 tokens into Orion and then they will on your behalf earn yield using Anchor. This is all done at a smart contract level and is really amazing to allow people on Polygon, on Ethereum, on BSC, to have exposure to that non-native savings platform. Next up, we've got Orca from Kajira. You can see that they have developed a way for retail users and people who aren't perhaps whales uh, to get involved with the liquidations contract in Anchor. Now, if you wanna learn some more about that, then check out the video that I made about Orca and that will explain the liquidations contract and liquidations to you. And I won't go into that too much here. You've also got other platforms such as Cash DeFi, which are bringing stable coins or aiming to bring stable coins to the masses. You can open up a savings account, a bank account that has an IBAN, a sort code, and you can get a debit card that allows you to spend UST in the real world. If you want to know a little bit more about Anchor Protocol, you can head on over to Twitter and follow them at, at Anchor underscore Protocol. You can also follow the main man over at Anchor Protocol, who is Matt Cantieri. If you want to know a little bit more about Matt's background and Matt's story, then you can watch the AMA that Yield Labs did with him back in August. Really cool interview, some really great insights into how the platform is going to grow and how it will continue to thrive in all markets. So back to the main question at hand is, can Anchor Protocol sustain these 20% yields? And in my opinion, yes, it absolutely can. We can see how it's generating yield. We can see how it is um, incentivizing its users. We can see how its adoption is increasing. You can look on Terra Station and see the amount of new wallets being created each day. You can see that these interest rates are not going anywhere and you can see that it continues to build its reserve higher and higher allowing the continuation of these really high interest rates now a bit of a caveat at the end of this video these are just my own calculations that i have taken from um, various sources lido finance from anchor uh, itself um, the price of the tokens all of that good stuff it varies on a day-to-day -day basis but i at least hope that this gives you some understanding of how sustainable this yield is and how this platform can continue to grow. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.